In this video guys, I'm very excited to share with you this Ad Creator AI agent I built inside NADEN using no code. And for this purpose, I've used the newest Google's Nano Banana model, which is insane, along with VO3. Additionally, guys, I share this template for you in this video totally for free, so stay to the end. And even right now, let me show you two examples of video ads I created with this entire automation. So basically, inside Telegram, firstly, I provided an image of this little figure and I typed transform this character into a collectible vinyl figure, place the figure on a small circular stand with the character's name engraved on the front. Okay, um, so this is an image I provided. This is image created with Nano Banana Model, and this is our art um, created with VO3. Check out this awesome collectible figure. And this is the second art I've created. So inside Telegram, I just provided this image and I typed turn this product photo into a luxury um, skincare display. So this is an image I provided. This is Nano Banana image, and this is our art. Discover the pure glow of Luma Skin Facial Oil. So as you could see, these ads are really professional. And the best point is, the cost of creating one ad is not that high, and even I can say it's quite low. However, I will explain everything later in this entire video. But for now, if you want to get this template 100% for free and use it right away, go ahead to our AI Enthusiasts community, the link will be in the resources of this material, click on Classroom, and then um, on Christian's YouTube resources, and you will have the video ad videos with Nano Banana and VO3, and you can download this entire template, just click on Download, and you can basically just import it right here, um, so it's pretty simple. And you've got this entire template. The only thing you need to do is to set up your credentials. Um, however, afterwards, you can use it right away. But for now, let me show you how to build this entire workflow step by step. Um, nevertheless, before it, um, we'll just create one ad so you see how it runs. So basically, what I can do, I can go to my Telegram and just provide some image. So let's say we've got this football shoe. And then um, let's pick some description. I've got some description prepared. Um, so what we have inside, um, transform this football boot into a premium sports product showcase, place it on a slick black pedestal with dynamic stadium, lights shining down, casting and um, dramatic shadows. Let's send it. And then we can execute the workflow. And what happens, actually, firstly, the trigger happens, okay? <laughs> we get the image, we upload the image to Google Drive, we save the information about, um, like, this specific um, request. Uh, we set up our bot um, token, so this is the static value. We get um, the file URL from our Telegram. We analyze our image with OpenAI. We update image description, so we just insert the description given from this um, from this node. We generate image prompt with our AI agent, and we go straight to Nano Banana. Okay. Afterwards, we wait 20 seconds. We download the um, the image. And then what we do, we use our AI agent to generate for us a script um, for VO3 video. We format it, so we format um, the prompt. We go ahead to VO3 HTTP request. So here we just provide a specific prompt. And now we create the entire video. We wait one minute, we download the video, and we send the video URL um, via Telegram. After it's done, this is the result. I'm very curious. Let's see. Wow, that's really cool. I mean, like, look, even we've got in the background, like, this specific football shoe. Like, yeah, it happens here. We are in the stadium. That's so, so nice. So now let's go through the entire automation step by step. The first thing is our trigger, of course. So we just trigger on a message. And right away, we get the image file. So what we do in that case, we've got the resource, which is file, operation get, and we just provide the file ID. So we just pick the dimension, which is um, 800 in width and height, which is also 800. Because remember, you've got different dimensions. This is the photo one. So this is the first, the smallest dimension. And this is the photo three, so the biggest one. Um, and you can choose. For that case, I want to have this specific dimension. Um, here I can view it. So we've got our image we provided. That's great. And then we just upload this image to Google Drive. So basically, we choose the operation, which is upload. Uh, we choose the file name. 
Um, so basically, uh, when we go ahead to schema, um, the file name is this one. So we just pick unique ID 402. So we just pick this um, file unique ID. We just provide it right there. And basically, we just uh, we just choose the drive and the folder, okay? That's everything. After it, uh, we just save the information to our Google Sheets. So basically, um, we've got a file. Um, let me show you. Um, you can download it in the resources of this material. So what we have, the image name, image URL, caption, status, and image description. So we just provide the image name, um, image URL. So we choose from Google Drive, and we've got content link. So it's this one. Uh, for the caption, we choose the caption from our Telegram. So we've got video idea. And right there at the bottom, we've got the caption. And for the status, we mark it as not done. That's everything. Afterwards, we've got the set uh, field. So we just provide the bot token um, right there. And we just store it right here, OK? And for the token, you can just get it from basically the one way is to go to the bot father and look for the agent you've created. So this is this agent. Actually, later I changed the name. However, this is um, the specific token you can use for HTTP requests, OK? So just copy it. You just provide it here. And once again, we've got this value ready to use later. And now uh, we just get the Telegram file URL. And right here, we are using this token. So we've got this entire code snippet. So API Telegram bot, we just provide the URL. We get the file and we provide the file ID. OK, that's pretty straightforward. And afterwards, it's the point uh, we analyze the image. So right now, We've got the entire text input. So you're an image analysis assistant. Your task is to analyze the given image and output results only in a YAML format. Do not add explanations, comments, or extra text outside YAML. And we've got the rules. So if the image depicts a product, we turn this. If the image depicts a character, we turn this. Um, and yeah, just these are all of the instructions. It analyzes for us the image. And we've got something, let me show you. We've got something like this, okay? Uh, so this is the content we'll be using. Um, and that's great. Afterwards, um, we just analyze this content. We update uh, the description inside our Google Sheets. So right now we check the status as done. So that means we analyzed this specific image. Um, we've got the image description and we just um, used to match our image name. Um, so that's really straightforward so far, I hope. So we've got all of these steps. And then it's the time to create image with Nano Banana. We use our A agent that creates for us um, the perfect, uh, that creates for us the perfect prompt. So we've got the prompt. Your task is to create an image, um, image prompt following the system guidelines. Ensure that the reference image is represented as accurately as positive, including all text elements. And we provide just the caption and from the telegram and the image description uh, we just created, OK? Um, so we just provide it from our Google Sheets. Then we have our system message. So we've got the role purpose, capabilities, interaction style, example output. So for an example, your, your purpose is to generate one concise, natural, real, and realistic image prompt uh, below 120 words from a given product or reference image simulating out um, authentic UGC style photography. We've got capabilities, so output only one JSON object with the key image prompt, write the prompt in a casual unstage um, life lifelike tone. And we've got other information. Right now we can stop the video and read it. However, right now we can move on. So as you can see, it created for us the prompt. The next stage is to create for us an image with Nano Banana. And here, uh, basically we are using full AI. So Full AI is the platform that allows us to use different models, whether for videos, for image, for even voice generation, and so on. I use this platform. It's so, so cool. The link you can find in the resources of this material, by the way. But here, we'll be using Nano Banana and VO3 in the same automation. So what you do, you log in here. Even if you don't have an account, you set it up. And then you just provide some credits. And we are able to use these two models. And now it's very important. If I click here, I can see that um, one image um, costs only four cents. So approximately for 25 images, we pay only one dollar. 
So as I said at the beginning, it's very affordable. However, a quite more expensive is VO3. Nevertheless, for now, it's getting lower. So I mean, like, the cost is, is much lower. So let's see. Uh, when we just create, uh, we just turn the image to video with the fast model, which we are using for this automation. We pay only 75 cents for five seconds. So approximately kind of we pay 15 seconds uh, for one second of the video. So if you think of creating the ads really professionally, uh, like the quality for sure is great. Like 75 cents for five seconds, it's not that high, okay? So VO3 is much more affordable with the fast model. And when we look um, on the model, which is the default one, we pay much more, so twice as much, um, so $2.00. However, we are using this model for this automation um, once again. For the entire content, we pay only 80 cents, okay? For me, like, this value is not that high comparing to the value um, we get, um, if that makes sense, okay? So after you do this, after you just simply log into your full AI, um, you just need to go ahead to your API keys. So you can just click on an account. And you, you can just create your API key right there. You can add the key. And then um, you just create your credential, okay? So basically right there, you just provide authorization and your specific API key. Also remember before the key, you need to provide the word key. So it looks this way, kind of. Um, let, me, let me show you. Um, you just provide the word key and you just paste here your API key inside. And you, we've got the name, which is authorization. And that's basically everything. Okay, um, afterwards, what we have, um, we send body parameters. So simply we are using JSON and we provide a few values. So we've got the prompt and we provide this specific code snippets, um, code snippet that cleans all the data. And then we provide our image URL. So we provide this image URL. Then it runs and our image is in queue. Um, and that's why we wait 20 seconds for this image to be, to be created. Uh, because when we go here um, to our nano banana model, uh, we can see actually our image, our images are mostly created within 10 seconds, like 13 seconds, okay? So 20 seconds mark is enough. Perfect. Then what we do, we just get our image. So we provide the response URL, this variable, we just provide our credential, and then we've got our image URL. When we copy it, uh, we go here, uh, we've got our image. That's great. Um, and then it's the time to create um, the video prompt, okay? And it needs to be sophisticated, I can say, complex and professional. That's why before just our AI agent to create for us the video script, um, we just use our set note to set the prompt, kind of the prompt, okay? So we've got a lot of information inside. Uh, you can just stop the video and read it. However, we've got a lot of data. Um, and this is the great point because we can use our set note before our A agent, and then we can just feed the information for our agent. So for our A agent uh, right here, so it doesn't get too messy in the system message, okay? Only in a kind of, um, you know, right here, uh, we've got a lot of information. However, right there, it's, it's much clearer. But let's start from the prompt. So in the prompt, we've got create a UGC style video prompt using both the reference image and the user description. We provide inside user description. We provide here the reference image analysis. Um, so the description that our OpenAI did for us. And we've got some rules. However, this is the system message also. So we've got the role purpose, capabilities, interaction style, example output. Um, so yeah. For now, once again, you can read it. However, I don't want to waste your time. Let's move on. Along with this A agent, we've got also the think note, structured output parser. So we just make sure we get the title and final prompt. Great. Then we use our code note to format the content properly. So we've got the prompt, model, and aspect ratio. And right away, we use our VO3, so HTTP request to connect with VO3, uh, we use also full AI, so we've got full AI, VO3, fast model, which is the cheaper one, image to video. We use our credential and we send the body, so we've got some parameters. The first one is the prompt, um, so we've got JSON prompt. And the second one is audio, so for sure we generate audio. 
And remember, actually for one second, I believe without the audio, we pay 10 cents. And with the audio, we pay 15 cents, okay? Um, I prefer to generate a video with audio. We've got aspect ratio, so 16 by 9, and image URL, and we just provide the image URL from our HTTP request, so from here, okay? Then what it does, it puts our video in a queue, so it's being generated. We wait one minute, we download the video, so once again, we take the response URL, and at the end, we send the video URL via Telegram. So basically, let me show you. Uh, right here, um, it's not here. Um, right here, we get the video URL, so we are ready to go. So we've got our video created. And for now, I can say this is everything. Once again, when I look on these videos, I mean, like this content is really professional. I really love it. Like the quality is so cool. Additionally, when I look on this video, okay. Discover the pure glow of Luma Skin Facial Oil. Right, yeah. So just look at it. That's great. Um, the quality is great and everything you can do with this single automation. So for now, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to get a template, go ahead to our A Enthusiast community. So in the classroom, we've got the specific template right here. Um, however, also we've got multiple other different templates, okay? So you can download all of them. So yeah, just consider joining the community. You've got a huge value inside. Additionally, if you want to take your automations, your skills to the highest level, um, feel free to just um, check out our AI Agents Accelerator. So inside, um, we've got approximately 100 members. We speak about automations, we integrate, and we learn um, just AI automations together, okay? So this is our premium community. Um, also, feel free to join or not, and um, the choice is yours. Um, also, the link will be in the description of this video. For now, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.